Hey, what's up everybody? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds, and today I have a short video on how to do surfacing. Here's our part, and the corners on the top face of the part are radiused. So you can call that a fillet if you want. So what we want to do is go down to Flow Line in 3D, and we just want to click those surfaces. That's step one. Next, go to the bottom button, change the cut direction, click check, and click the check again. Next, get your speeds and feeds right, go to finish full line parameters, click distance, and let's make it a 3,000 step over per pass. So we're going to edit tool, and right there it says there's a 20,000 radius on the tool. You need well, you don't need, but you want a radius on the end of your tool. You can technically do it with a square, but the step over would be in the tenths. With a radius, you can have a much better step over and surface finish. So we're just going to generate that. We're going to look how it is, and then we'll go back in the parameters and change some things around. So we'll just backplot it. We'll step through, and as you can see, it, the tool is zigzagging across that surface, moving 3,000 up that surface, so moving 3,000 in X, Y, and Z. Let's go back into parameters, click on gap settings, go down to tangential line length, and let's add 0.3. That just means the tool is going to extend that surface 0.3, so 300,000. I like to do that to make sure the entire surface gets cleaned up. Next we'll go into verify so we can see what's going on. And as you can see the tool's just zigzagging across with that 20 thou radius in contact with the par moving 3 thou up that surface. So we can do that again. And from that angle, you can really see what's going on. It's, it's just slowly chipping away at that surface. Again, you want to use a tool with a radius or a ball end mill because you get a better surface finish, but you technically can use a square. You just have to do like a 210 step over. So you definitely choose the correct tool. So there is our little quick uh, tutorial on how to do surfacing. Uh, we went really fast, so feel free to re-watch us and rewind. And if you want to see some more, subscribe. Thanks.